First of all, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. Everybody in between, come on in. What is happening? It's Monday, 8.50 p.m. on the West Coast. What are you guys doing? It's 5.50 in Vegas. I'm just over here looking at the news at the Keyscape Double Felt Grand. Y'all seen this? Anybody seen this? Of course you have. Right? The, du the, the Double Felt Grand. First of all, gorgeous, gorgeous sample. Spectrasonics does it again. <laughs> So what I'm playing now, this is the Modern U from VI Labs. VI Labs is the same people who make the Ravenscroft 275. Um, what's really dope about this Modern U library is that they have a Sordino pedal. A Sordino pedal. From what I understand, so this is basically, you know, a Yamaha U1. A, 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 an, a, a Yamaha Upright U1. There's only three pedals on here. Only three pedals. So the developers, if I'm not mistaken, you know, did some sort of felting of their own on the soundboard here. And called it the Sordino pedal. So. a beautiful a beautiful instrument um so what what you're hearing is only this is the sordino pedal it's only the soft pedal so let me unsolo the soft pedal i got a compressor on here too hold on Um, maybe I can see it right here. Oh, okay. Beautiful Yamaha upright. So as you can see here, look at this tone, this tone knob. But more importantly, the timbre shift. So basically, you know, I, I was looking at this video and listening to this piano. Like, I wonder, you know, if there's anybody out there who ain't got the $400 to um you know dish out for keyscape what are the alternatives that you might 
you know what I mean, that you might want to um, look for. So, you know, one place, obviously, let's get this straight. There is no alternative for that particular sound. Um, but there are many, many felt pianos on the market. And I'm putting this one in as a contender right here. So basically what I did, you heard the piano by itself. What I did, um, this is a very small piano. Actually, let me, so, okay. Where are we at? Minus eight on this tamper. So there's a timbre shift knob right here. Timbre shift. If I put this back at zero, let me just put the tone and everything back at zero. We should have done this together. I was setting this up. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's put it back to, back to zero. Okay, so here's zero. So the first thing I was doing was trying to get more, um, you know, more more low end out of this small piano. So I turned to the trusty UAD Little Labs Voice of God right here which is similar to Waves R-Bass. You could use R-Bass as an alternative to Waves. So listen to this. Hopefully you have headphones or something on here. Bypassed. Active. Bypass. I mean, I got the amplitude all the way up here. Not much low in information to begin with, so. that's that and then actually I had to compress it the other way so my logic with the compressor is once you start compressing you know the overall piano sound that includes all the key noises and and um, pedal noises and stuff like this so that's one thing that um this felt piano has a lot of is key noises that's how it was recorded you know you hear that Beautiful sounding instrument. So, so I went in here and I turned up the key noise right here. Here's where that off. By default, it's off. I don't know if you can hear it, but whenever I let off a key, there's like a thud. Right, let me take it off. No noise. All the way up. And here it is without the compressor. With the compressor.
Okay. So. This is how you see if the compressor is working or not. You have to match the output with the bypass signal. There you go. Right. So, so you got a little bit more bass, if at all possible. What what would happen if I switch the order of uh, the compressor? Hmm. Okay. So. So we got that. Okay. And then, you know, just like any other sample library that you own, any other piano library you own, you got a lot of realism in these in these other knobs. You know, a lot of us just, um, you know, pull up the default setting and go to town, which is fine. You know, ain't nothing wrong with that at all. However, if you're looking to get more character out of your instrument, you know, go go start turning these knobs up you know like like the sympathetic resonance right here let me turn this compressor off now hold on yeah okay yeah right welcome in what's popping can y'all hear this okay? Everybody hear this? How's my voice in relation to the piano? We just getting the live stream together. Okay, um, so, right. So, turned up these noises here, the release volume. Actually, let me turn off this reverb real quick. Here we go. Remember, got to have the releases. Got to. See, that's a little unnatural. But anyway, we just keep turning up these. So I'll turn the key noise up. Pedal resonance over here. Pedal noise. See, got to be careful with this, though. Tune World says, would it be good for live use since I sold my Nord Stage 3 88? I'm willing to explore software a bit more. Um, yes, yes, you can definitely use this live. That is a whole nother topic about a whole nother video, which I for sure am going to make at some point here, uh, about using computers live, you know, using laptops live. Um, there are some optimizations you need to do, but uh, very minimal on this this uh, base model 14-inch MacBook Pro. It's got all the ports back, you know, headphone jack. Um, but the way they handle the RAM is interesting. It seems to be way better. I mean, look, I got my buffer on uh, 64 samples, 32 we can get it down to. Look, 16, come on. I mean, I'm trying to max it out. Let me see. <laughs> oh, there we go. Finally a pop. 
and that's at buffer size 16. I can't feel any latency. I mean, I can, but but uh, certainly not like 256 that we used to have to uh, do way back in the day. Um, so, but yeah, yeah, I mean, this is, you know, this is a smaller piano. But look, I want to show you this. Um, I want to show you this, this timbre shift thing right here. Right. So, so this, so this plugin, you know, you can, um, change the tuning of certain notes, you know, and, and this type of thing, uh, you can, you know, this is basically a MIDI, a MIDI transposer type of thing. Like it, 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 it uh, the incoming signal, the MIDI signal, the incoming signal, you can basically, you know, transpose it this way you know or hopefully you can get the gist of what it's doing here but anyway uh, so but okay so you got this tone here which is like a basic EQ right Right. Okay. Um, so, so what I did to try to capture this other sound, I just turned this down a little bit, but watch this timbre shift button. Let's go down one. Hear that? I'm playing the same note, mind you. Um, I did have the... Yeah, I'm playing the same exact note. It's a different sample. Yet again, a different sample. See, so basically what, what this is doing is, say I'm playing a C. If I go down one increment I'm playing the note C on the keyboard but it is the software is triggering the sample of B which is one note below C it's it's, it's triggering this sample so in theory wait what am I saying Anyway, more more research to be done about this. Um, but so basically, so 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 now, so now, if I if I, I'm basically shifting every like the entire sample mapping. Uh, you know, you, it, it is is shifting. That's Ella. One second. Y'all don't go nowhere. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? Come here. Good girl. <laughs> Here go Ella. You want to say something on the mic? Hi, baby. She was just napping for quite some time. You okay? What's wrong? Yeah. She's a music dog. When I practice in the mornings, she's right there on the couch, falling asleep to the guitar. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, hush Ella is right, Sean. Yeah, for real. Yeah, so, what up, Sean? Sean Horton in the building, my homeboy. Right, so, look, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do this timbre shift down right here.
Yo, I love the bass that it's getting right now. Oh, my bad. I'm on the wrong screen. Here you go, guys. Here you go. Hey, so you can see my hands. Or the MIDI. By the way, anything I'm playing on here on these live streams, if you want me to, uh, if you want the MIDI to see what I'm playing, I will just give it to you. No problem. Just put it in the comments. Let me know. Because um, I can always press retrospective recording, I believe. Let me not say that. Hold on. Um... Recall retrospective, yes. Okay, let me see if it's here. Boom. In theory, it should be. Yeah, all this. Right, so this should be what I played. Right, there you go. Um, would I say, okay, would you say the modern you is better than Keyscape? The felt, um, the felt grand. Is it better than Keyscape? So that, the word better, I try to not really use, you know, because that is quite subjective. You know what I mean? Um, but listen to this. So, you know, there, there's a level of detail there that you just can't get, you know, with the modern you, for example. You know, but, but there are uh, libraries like, um, like, what is this? Um, the felt, the, let's see here, Spitfire, um, Did I put it in here? Let me see. Keyboards. Uh, I don't think I did. Hold on. But the um, Oliver Arnold's felt piano is pretty... If, you, if you're not familiar with that one, that's a classic that's been around for quite some time. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's really good. It's really good, actually. I would, I would more so compare that one to... Um, yo, thank you, Sean. Thank you, man. YouTube g gang, gang. Um, we out here, so here we go. But, uh, yeah, also, you know, contact library popping. The libraries, here we go. Olafur, Olafur Arnold's, that's always a tricky one. Olafur Arnold's. Um... Yeah, let's see. Felt Grand Piano. Here we go. Please load. Yes, God. Yes. I think it was meant to be, you know, played like that, but uh, <laughs> it's all good. All good. Um, let's find some noises to turn up. 
Okay, pedal volume. Let's see. Oh, yeah. See, I want all that. We got to have the noises, son. Yeah, this one's crazy as heck. What is this pedal dynamic? Okay, now now let's compress it. Let's compress it and um even though there's reverb in here already, I'm still gonna add what I got here, which is UAD pure plate, which I love. Just you know, take out some of the lows, change the pre-delay so the tail is after the sound. Turn down the bass, turn on the treble. You know, that's how I like to roll with that. Um, but yeah, this is going to be dope. By the way, um, if the four of you, three of you who are in here will be at NAMM, I am uh, demoing some stuff at the UVI booth. So y'all come say what's up. Hang. Nerd out on some gear. pretty hard actually that's pretty hard so um this is a studio one stock plug-in i use stock plugins most of the time anyway save those cpu resources okay uh i just want to get into a vibe you, you know watch this Oh, wait, 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 wait. I want to hear their built in reverb. That is, this is it. Hold on, here we go. definitely so that that one is a vibe um what's what's the other um let's just look it up together felt piano contact i know there's uh let's see felt 54 there's another oh oh that's right that's right yeah 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 okay hold on Noir is another one. Oliver Arnold is another one. Watch this. Here we go. Um, we say Noir, right? Yeah, Noir. Here we go. Native Instruments Noir Felt. Here's the felt. This thing sounds crazy good. All right. I'm gonna start messing with this i yeah i never use i never use the stock plugins that's a lie when i'm when i'm performing live and stuff yeah i'll, I'll use the stock versions or you know but if, but no normally i'm over here tweaking this stuff right here all right so what y'all think about that Oliver arnold's joint tunes world yeah that one is that one's a vibe so So going here to the effects, it's a little, it's a little soft, ain't it? Let me see. Let's hear what it sounds. Let's hear what this sounds like.
Noir has this dope um, sub frequency that you can add. So, what am I doing here? Okay, stereo image. I don't know how I how I feel about these imaging plugins, but. You want to make it narrow, although. Something about that's not right, but. I can see the argument for this wide right here. Because, you know, it might be more of an uh, an effects like uh, in the mix. Maybe it's more like a wide sound or something. So you can put the vocal in the middle. Turn this off. Okay, noise. You got, these, you got these different noises in here. Cassette recorder. Okay, and what <laughs> what's also really fun is this, the pianist. Just listen. So, you know, that's pretty dope. Moving around on the seat, <laughs> that's really, really cool to me. Um, yeah, that's, that's really fun. So, I thought there were some more noises in here. Okay. Y'all ever seen this particles joint? So that's Noir Felt. I mean, yeah, what's some other uh, felt pianos? Free felt piano, John Meyer. Ah, you guys follow John Meyer music? You should. You should. He's got some, um, some dope, you know, Production music um, tutorials. Ah, uh, J O N. That's right. Yeah, this cat right here. Um, you know, he, his channel is all about uh, like music, like production music for um, music libraries and sync licensing and stuff like this, which, you know, I, I have done as well. And that's still what I do. Um, so, yeah. All right, let's take a break for a second from the piano things. I just want to show you guys, um, does anybody use Splice in the chat? If you use Splice, 
just go just go to log into your um to, to your thing go to sounds and just type in my last name Caden head Caden head and I got all these loops right here for you I want to bring this into to the session. Okay. Let's put this uh, I don't know where. Desktop for now. So I like this one. Um, but yeah, man, that Olaf for Arnold's joint is, is pretty, so let's, so let's, so now that we did that, let's compare the three. That's not it. Here we go. Yeah. <clears throat> Try to play the same thing. y'all think this modern new library is actually pretty versatile but everybody hates on it because it's not a grand piano which is funny to me um <laughs> it's like how does it sound bro you know what i mean is it like yeah i know it's not a grand piano but how does it sound does it move you does it you know what i mean like close your eyes don't look at the at the brand or the name or the you know what I mean? Or the or whatever, whatever else. You know what I'm saying? Just um Yeah, just how does it sound? What does it sound like to you? That's Oliver Arnold's hold on. So if I do this, turn the tone down. Do I have that bass going? Let me see. Yeah. I like messing with this timbre shift. Let me turn this down. Whew. Now I sound like a big piano. It's funny, this pedal keeps slipping. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
So, are you guys going to get this felt piano? Um, I may, just so I can show it to you guys. I will happily buy it so you guys can hear it. But there's so many other people on here, you know, that's demoing it and it sounds gorgeous. Um, but yeah, if you want to hear my thoughts, let me know. This thing is nice, though. But see, what happens is <laughs> once a um, once a library like this exists, everybody's going to use it. Everybody's going to start using it. That's how it goes, though. You know, that's how it goes. Um, but yeah, I'm curious to see, you know, two or three years from now, if there's going to be an, an update, an update to the to the library, or they're going to come out with another one. Our felt piano is going to be still a thing. You know, I'm always curious about, about that type of stuff. So. But yeah, that's the live stream. Um... Man, you guys take care, subscribe, leave a comment, um, let me know your thoughts on all this, the felt piano, are you going to get it, what's your favorite alternative, turn me on to some, because I don't, you know, um, I'm always down to, always looking to learn some new libraries and stuff like this, I love libraries, um, but yeah, for now, yo, come back to the live stream tomorrow, we're going to be, we're going to be streaming tomorrow. Y'all come see me on Instagram at the real Caden Head. C A D E N Head. Caden Head. Come tap in. If you would like some piano tutorials, let me know. Drop a comment. Peace and love, everybody. Peace and love.